What's going on guys? Dustin here. If you could just hit that like button and turn on the notifications and subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. Now let's get into it. So today I want to talk about the habits of highly successful people in the world because there are definitely things in your life that you have to change in order for you to become successful. And a lot of times we don't know what those things are. So what I wanted to do is through all the research that I've done studying success and successful people and everything that they have done to get themselves at the level they are, I wanted to break it down into habits so you can see everything that goes into what a successful person has to do. So let's start from number one. Having great self-discipline is extremely important because no matter what you do and whatever you call success, you have to have extreme, extreme self-discipline. Tom Brady from the Patriots. If you don't think he has self-discipline, you're crazy. Anybody that is excelling in their business has extreme self-discipline. Now that comes with time, practice, but you can't get and be a professional at something if you don't start from square one. And self-discipline is an extremely, extremely big one, especially being a real estate agent or working from home where you don't really clock in. It's all about self-discipline. So keep that in mind. That's definitely a habit that you would have to get comfortable with doing and do it consistently, okay? Now, another thing is you have to almost obsess about self-development. And what that means is growing as a person, reading more books, getting smarter, studying things, maybe not in college, if that's, if that's what your success is, is being a college graduate in whatever degree that you're looking to you know, pass or be, then that's your path to success. And you still need to have self-development because to pass the class, you need to get more educated. So you need to develop everything that your brain can possibly take. So when you take that test, that you'll ace it. So the next thing that kind of goes with self-development is reading. 100% of everybody in this world that has made extreme amounts of income does a ton of reading. Bill Gates, okay? I mean, anybody that you can think of reads books to educate their mind so they know more and are educated in this world to make business decisions, okay? Reading books is probably a religion to gain success because Everybody that's been through situations in life, a lot of times write books about it, whether it be investing in real estate or whether it be buying businesses. Whatever the case may be, there's probably a book written on it. So that's definitely a big one. That's definitely something that changed my life and I won't ever change going back. I, I, and I can't lie, I don't like reading. I can't stand it. But when I plug in my audio book and I'm done with the book I read, no matter what it is, if it's a Grant Cardone book, or if it's a book about stocks, or if I'm just reading on how to better communicate with people, because linguistics is a huge thing, especially in my business, you know? Not being able to talk to somebody is a big issue in this world. So, reading is definitely something that has changed my life and many others. So that's definitely a habit. I would definitely extremely, extremely push to become successful in anything you do. Another one is taking risks. Now, this is a big one because you may say to yourself, well, there's no risk I can really take. You know, there's not much I can do with what I have. Well, how come you can't try and get a college degree or try and be in a business because you're working too much? You have to pay the bills. Well, that's where this comes into play. You have to take those risks. You have to figure out where the risk is worth being taken so that you can get to that next step of life. Because where there's no risk, there's no reward. I'm sure you've heard that before. So that's definitely a habit you're gonna to have to acquire when wanting to become successful or be on that other side where you view yourself at your strongest point. So last but not least, to tie all these together is you have to have time management. Now, this is a big, big issue if you know you have a college class and you have kids. So this is the last one because this is probably the most important. If you don't have time management, none of this stuff 
is going to happen. So I typically like to wake up, listen to my favorite song, because that gets me going in the morning. I get to the office, I start going over anything that I need top priority, and I schedule out my day. So I know exactly what I need to do and when I need to do it and where I have a gap. I schedule my lunch. On weekends, if I'm not showing houses, I'll take the Saturday or Sunday and I'll rest, kind of let my brain get a break for a little bit and I'll get right back to it Monday. Or if I do it Saturday, I'll get back to it Sunday. Now guys, these are all extremely important to gaining success in life. So without a doubt, you must acquire new habits. You must do them consistently. And you just become 100%. Because that's the goal, guys. 100%.